going to give a couple words at least. Um, but good morning, church. Um, as you can tell by the picture on screen, my message today is called Happy Tears. We've all heard that phrase like tears of joy, right? How's that? All right. We've all heard the phrase tears of joy, right? And some of us have taken that breath after maybe a loved one has passed away. And we can feel like the sense of relief, even though we're dealing with our own grief. Happiness and sadness are two, emo are two emotions that seem to be connected, yet completely opposite of each other. And Paul's going to mention something like that in our scripture that comes next today. But there was something that I was hooked on when going over it that really stuck with me. So, of course, being the nerd that I am, I have to look at the definition of things. Happiness is def can be defined as the agreeable sensations which spring from the enjoyment of good things, while sadness either means sorrowful, affected with grief, or cast down with affliction. Even these definitions sound like polar opposites of each other. Yet a lot of times, in my opinion, these emotions work together in a different order in different circumstances. After an experience of sadness, what comes next may be as an experience of happiness and vice versa. I mentioned that the definition of happiness talks about positive sensations that come from the enjoyment of good things. And often we obviously don't look at our sadness as a good thing. We don't look at our grief, our sorrow, our depression. We don't look at all that stuff as a good thing. But I want you to think about how you feel after walking out of a season of sadness in your life. Paul's letter um, that we'll talk about today in Scripture didn't mean to make people sad. And he, was even, he even says he's sorrowful momentarily. But he realized the happiness that came from the sadness. Now, I know how... I know these emotions and how we experience them is very subjective because we all experience happiness and sadness in different ways. And I'm also not minimizing um, the different individuals that are here today and I'm watching online that your level of depression, grief, and sadness, um, that is a whole nother topic. But I really just want to remind you that there will be joy coming out of it. And God is walking with you through the sorrow, through the grief, through the depression, through the sadness. God is holding you in his right hand and has a tissue in his left to wipe away the tears. And at the end of your journey, your tears are going to represent something else, something a little more joyful. So I think as I wrote this, and I agree with it today, I think this message re requires a closing prayer. So I ask everybody just to join me in this prayer. Dear God, I ask that as all of us go through our week, experiencing the highs and lows of life, that we remember that you walk with us through it all. I pray that we can lean on you during the highs and lows and remember that you are still guiding us through it. Lord, we love you and we thank you for all that you have done for us, that you are doing for us, and that you will do for us today, tomorrow and for the rest of our lives. Amen.